Now let's go to the beginning and press shift space. And let's see how this syncs up. Okay, it looks pretty good. But, we don't know that for sure because we can't actually hear a sound from the note. Well, believe it or not, this program is pretty smart. It has a function that allows you to clap each note that comes up so you can synchronize it perfectly. Go over to your N on the keyboard and press it. As you can see right underneath the start off to the left of your screen it says a C. That means the clap function. So let's go and uh, play at the start with shift spacebar. Uh oh. We see that we've got a problem. We came in too early. So let's increase it a bit. I'd say oh, let's go over to 3.8. Let's see if that's good. Play it again from the beginning just to be sure with space shift spacebar. Uh oh, we've gone too far. As you can see, this is a process of guess and check. You gotta make sure that you're doing each one very precisely and figure it out as you go along. Now, I want, because we played further ahead, we need to set the offset back. So press shift and then the left bracket. Believe it or not, I did this before, but I kind of forgot, so let's try 3.7. Alright, that sounds pretty good. Start from the beginning. Yes, I think we've got it. Now press S. S is to save it, okay? You'll hear that sound again. Now this is where it becomes a little bit tricky. For anyone who is not into music, this will be a little bit of a challenge for you. But for those who are musically apt, this will be a little bit easy for you. Each set of music has amount of so-called beats per minute. It's the amount of times you can clap your hands per minute, so to speak, and it's measured in BPM. What you need to find out is the BPM of every section in the song. You can already see this is going to take a while. What you can do is you can go press the up arrow once and then press another green fret and then press it again press another green fret press it again and press another green fret on and on and on and on and on and now you have something that looks a little bit like this it's a running line of green frets spaced evenly apart now let's play it from the beginning and see if the BPM of 120 is actually what this song is As you can see, it sounds very sluggish. So, to increase the beat per minute, you press the plus key. And if you want to decrease it, press the minus key. But for now, we're going to have to plus it. Let's try oh, 125. Start from the beginning just to be sure. As you can see, it kind of slows down about three quarters of the way. So let's try 130, see how that works. As you could have also heard, it was starting to catch up on itself. Now because I've done this before, I actually remember what the beats per minute is, and it's 127 for this section. So go down to that. And press the space bar, let's go. perfect synchronization. That's all there's to it. Now, obviously there's going to be more notes than that. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to try and space it further, I mean closer and closer together. But how do you do that? Notice at the very top off to your left it says offset time and step. Step is basically the amount of beats to the next note per measure. Don't worry about it, it'll come clear enough to you as soon as you've done this a couple of times. Press the right arrow to increase the denominator, or press the left arrow to increase it. So let's decrease it for now. And keep it as even as you can. Usually it goes in the exponential f of rates, which is like 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. That will give you probably most of what you really need to work with but usually you work with 1 8th and 1 16th. For now we can use 1 8th. 
Now, here's where you can really have a little bit of fun. Start making up the notes. If you really feel like going, you know, pizza and whatever you want, you can just go like this. Do right there. And by the way, I don't really like this green note here, so I'll just press the one and get rid of it. Go up to increase a new note. Go up again, make a new one. Up again, make a new one. New one, new one, whatever. And by the way, you can press two notes at a one time. Or even three if you really feel like it. And by the way, if you hold down the button and press the up or down arrow, it'll increase it into a longer note. So let's see what we got. Let's see how this works. Okay, obviously that was a little bit too complicated, but you get the picture. This is how you work. You gotta make sure that you're doing everything very slowly, make sure you got everything looking nicely, and just use some common sense. I mean, if a note sounds higher, pitch it up higher, make it a higher fret, and if not, well, then make it lower, or make it the same. Think of how the guys at Guitar Hero actually did it themselves. This probably wasn't too far from how they did it. But granted, this is amateur, so obviously it's not going to work out perfectly. Let's save it for now. Eventually, you'll come to the point where you reach um, the stage that I ended up at with a decently clean um, chart. But what you need to know is that there are things called hammer-ons and pull-offs. What you need to realize is that Guitar Hero actually calculates it based on how close it is to the next note. Let's say right now we're at 18. We're at, excuse me, right now we're at 1 8th. But let's say we had to go a little bit further. Let's say we wanted to go 1 16th instead. Watch this. Aha! The green note at the very first part of the, of the chart is uh, with a black dot in the center but the next three notes have white circles sound familiar this is how guitar here looks like when it's doing its uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs but notice of course if you have um, hammer-ons and pull-offs that end up in a double note it'll always change to black so let's even hear how this sounds like Obviously, it's a lot, 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 lot quicker. Only use this when it, the song actually calls for, otherwise it becomes just a little bit too difficult. You'll get the hang of it, don't worry, I believe in you. Anyway, you're probably wondering, okay, this is good and nice, I'm getting the hang of this, now what? Well, there's the star power, of course. Hover over to your 8 key. Hold it, and drag it for as long as you want. You see that blue? That means that when you import it into Guitar Hero, this will become blue and a star power. Now if you press your 6 and your 7 keys, either one is fine, you see these red and yellow bands. The red band is actually what player 1 has to play, and the yellow band is what player 2 has to play. Scary? No. Not really at all. Let's save it.